before creating a new variable based on old variables, we have to make sure that the data are recognized as a data table in Excel. And that means that you should see a these uh, alternating bands of blue and white, or you may have changed the color, but a, some sort of alternating color scheme. There should be table tools at the top. doesn't matter what we call the data table. Um, in this case, I'm calling it UCR but it should be a data table in order to move forward. Now before making any changes to the actual spreadsheet I want to go over the logic of what I'm trying to do here. The goal is to create a murder rate variable that is equal to the number of murders divided by the population multiplied by 100,000 for each and every of these 490 towns in New Jersey. Now I want to create a blank column where the murder rate is going to go. To do this, I click on the letter of the column next to where I want this blank column to go. In this case, I'll click on G, right click, and select Insert. And a blank column appears. Now I rename this blank column by replacing the generic label in the header row something descriptive, in this case murder rate. That entire text might not show up, but it's still there. It's just sometimes hidden by the smaller size of the column. Now I'm going to enter the formula for the new variable. In order to do this, I'm going to focus on calculating the murder rate for the very first case in the data set. First step is to press the equal sign then I highlight the row I want to use, in this case, number of murders divided by population and then multiplied by 100,000. Note that the division sign is a forward slash, the multiplication sign is an asterisk. When you press enter, murder rate should calculate not only for that very first town, but for all towns.